that the Prime Minister himself has taken a great interest in the interest of transparency to promote government procurement through a transparent, open digital mechanism. And that's where we had additional secretary working on it intensely from the BGSND. And the GEM portal was now launched and post its launch, steadily we have been adding on number of items which will be now on the portal and will not any longer be in the rate contract mechanism. So tentatively from about 155 mm -hmm. items which were under mm -hmm. rate contract, nearly a hundred had already been mm -hmm. put on the e-marketplace. And the process through which we are doing so that there is no disruption otherwise is as and when a rate contract thing comes to its natural expiry without renewing a newer year-long rate contract for it, that item was moved on to the e-platform. That is how we were doing it and we continue. But in the process, in the process, we also found that the interest among sellers, vendors, have actually increased. A lot of them have come on board. I'd like to start by giving this very clear example of what it means to go through an electronic purchase mechanism, e-market e purchasing mechanism. The Women Child Welfare uh, Ministry wanted to supply smartphones for Anganwadi workers. They wanted to procure 54,000 smartphones. They approached the gem, the uh, government e-marketing, and these were to be supplied in five states for all the Anganwadi workers. I'm happy to say the price at which was, it was procured was at the lowest price ever quoted in the market and resulted in 7 crores saving for the government. This is one of the early achievements of the government e-market after it has been launched. This is a transparent portal. In fact, let me be uh, clear to tell you. In fact, this is what I would have come to you with great sense of happiness. The gem will be now going to all states to ensure that we have with the state governments an MOU signed so that states own procurement for their state governments offices can be done through the gem. We will, like many other uh, programs of the union government, the, I, will, I will immediately probably refer to the uh, energy ministries uh, attempt to get the discounts on board so that they can get over their difficulties have been going through some kind of scheme which is announced. Here is a scheme which is government electronic marketplace which brings transparency, uh, transparency and real time uh, market uh, determined prices and above all there is one point which I forget to mention which I forgot to mention I like to mention. If at all the procuring officer in any one department thinks that the price which is quoted in the GEM portal is higher than what is available outside in the market. The GEM portal, even from the day it was launched, said very clearly that the officer then can go openly ask for a tender. So if there is no compulsion, if you think that the for that item which you want to procure through GEM, has a list of vendors who are quoting high, you are still given the option to go and ask for a tender.